we are now aware about very very fundamental part that is units and some related part of mathematics and now by getting this type of knowledge about unit uh, we are still not having full knowledge but basic introductory knowledge uh, in previous lecture we discuss till work done try to recollect i'm just uh, taking small revision over here now we are uh, aware about work done and after getting knowledge of work done we are aware of units uh, i'm revising here acceleration that uh, unit we discussed that is meter per second square then force we are calling this as newton and another unit dyne so in mks it is newton and cgs it is dyne now in case of work done we discuss it is joule and in cgs we discuss it is ergs now you are aware of work done that uh, force is applied and displacement is there then there is work done now you have to observe that lecture of trigonometry and then you will realize what is cos theta here as we explain that for horizontal displacement work done is uh, we are considering theta as 0 and cos 0 value is 1 so work done is f into s usually work done uh, is applicable when force is applied in the direction of uh, force displacement is taking place but theta can be any here so uh, suppose i am applying force and direction is taking place exactly in opposite side then i should call that work done is not uh, carried out with respect to applied force uh, let us check out example there is a huge stone here may be possible uh, the mass of only that stone is around 1000 kg now i am trying to lift that stone with my single hand that means i am applying force here but at the same time second force is applicable that is gravitational force so earth is pulling that stone towards earth whereas i am trying to lift out that stone with my single hand which is obviously not possible because we are aware that we are right now lifting out more than 10000 kg weight plus that 1000 kg i am not able to lift that and as a result that stone falls down from my hand i am applying force in this direction whereas displacement is carried out in opposite direction of force applied and so i have to say here the work done because of my hand or whatever force i have applied on basis of that work done is not performed work done is performed on basis of earth's base and not from my side now suppose i am applying force and work done is uh, sorry displacement is carried out in 90 degree direction of the force applied then cos theta will be cos 90 uh, that uh, angle is 90 and therefore we can say that cos 90 the value of cos 90 is zero and therefore whole work done is zero no doubt i am applying force but on application of force work done is carried out in opposite direction uh, sorry in 90 degree that is perpendicular direction and therefore we are getting value of work done is zero let us check out example this is uh, say at center there is earth this is orbit of earth uh, just consider it is circular uh, orbit of moon around earth just consider it is circular why i am saying just consider it is circular because i am aware that orbit of moon around earth is not circular it is elliptical one but right now we can consider it is circular one now moon is moving in this direction but actually it is revolving around earth now there is radius 
of this orbit. If I am pointing out velocity, here this is the direction of velocity of moon. The angle between this direction of velocity and the force which pulling that is radially acting. So, the force that earth is pulling out that is perpendicular. Why? Because earth is pulling out in the minimum distance possible between moon and earth that straight line we are calling as orbital radius. So, here this is r and this is the tangent. Just check out a line which is touching out to circle in one point that is tangent. What is the angle between tangent and radius? That angle is 90 degree. In geometry lecture or geometry book, we will get proof for this that there is always radius to tangent in case of circle, radius to tangent angle is 90 degree. And therefore, we are getting here 90 degree angle. So, work done equal to Fs. So, whatever force applied that is along the radius, we are calling this as gravitational force and for circular motion, we are calling this as centripetal force. So, that is along the radius, whereas displacement is along tangent, work done is uh, here 0, irrespective that whatever the displacement, the work done is 0. So, therefore, when we are saying that moon is revolving around earth, the work done is 0. Now, earlier part I have explained that cos theta, uh, if work displace, uh, displacement, cut, cut. So, work done is uh, not possible if force applied and direction of displacement is negative. But here, work done is 0, if work done is 0, if displacement is there in the 90 degree, that is perpendicular direction of force applied. Now, here we observe that earth revolves around sun. Uh, same situation only I have to change name instead of putting earth over here I should say this is sun and this is earth. The same funda is applicable here and so we are getting same thing that when earth revolves around sun work done is zero. When satellites uh, we are uh, here uh, using various artificial satellites they may be polar satellites, they may be geostationary satellites, whatever the satellites we are launching. After fixing out in orbital, uh, work done is zero because it is performing circular motion or little bit elliptical, but keep in mind it is considered as circular and then work done required is zero. Now, what is energy? Next concept we are switching over because in order to get knowledge of universe, this uh, energy concept is really important. What is energy? Energy is capacity to perform work. I am revising what is energy? Energy is capacity to perform work. Then that is called as an energy. So, unit of force, uh, sorry, unit of work done is same as unit of energy. So, I can express energy in terms of joules in SI unit MKS system and CGS system, I can say it is Earth's. Now, energy is exhibited in various forms. What is energy that is same as work done, capacity to perform work. Now, you will get certain questions answer. Moon is traveling around Earth. It is orbiting around Earth. What is the energy required by Moon? for orbiting around earth? Answer is zero. Why? Because work done of moon uh, when it is orbiting around earth is zero and therefore energy required that is also zero. What is the energy required by earth to move around sun? Again answer is zero. You will now realize that suppose I want to move a car say from here to one kilometer distance then also there must be fuel in the car. That fuel will burn and energy is produced. That energy is utilized by car to move a distance of 1 kilometer. Say, what is the weight of car? Very, very less as compared to mass of earth or as compared to mass of moon. Car is having almost negligible weight, but still energy is required for displacement of car on earth. But 
in the space these objects the moon stars or planets or even our sun earth all these objects are moving without energy and that's why uh, what is the reason because these or motions are orbital motion and as these orbital motions are there we are getting w is equal to fs cos theta but cos theta value is cos 90 that is zero and therefore work done required is zero